ya oparanya kutrain na msichana fulani kidosho dosho fulani hapo ikiwa ni kweli wana uhusiano then mimi mimi napinga hiyo uhusiano are you against I'm against it kwa sababu uh, ukiangalia mzee oparanya is a oparanya is a leader big leader ya yeah, uiza is an icon to majority of people many people look up after, after the leadership of Oparan kuna watoto wengi in the schools who are looking forward to becoming like Oparan sasa ikikuwa sasa the leadership journey has been all that all, all that long imefika point penye sasa it should be now endorsing new young leaders yeah so at that point yanaanza ku misbehave how can an old man like Oparan roll with a 30 year old girl calling a woman or even a girlfriend a wife it's uncouth it's unconstitutional it's a bizarre it's a disgrace which uh oparanya should not be doing that thing so bro i hope miss kema boy nye your colleague amesema hapa kuhusu hii story ya oparanya kuonekana na kidosho dosho kwa mtandao wa kijamii kwa social media na trend una yapi kusema na mimi kwanza kabisa kwa majina ni solomon Nataka kusema hakuna shida wala tabu yenye oparanya amefanya and i want to support him 101% number one, my colleague has just said oh, oparanya is old that should not be seen with a 30 year old aged girl and let me first of all remind her, him a 30 year old aged girl is an adult and kenyan constitution puts it very well mtu akishafika 18 yeni adult and uh, oparanya is an africa as Ndini Nyoro always says Af- we are africans and africa is our business and Af- in africa polygamy is allowed and uh, if my learned brother here never attended biology class let me teach him let me give him some biology notes no man gets old and a man can marry at any age and we are even our constitution is very clear Oh, Paranya can be polygamous if he decides. So if that's the decision he has made as at now, then it's right. Number one, let's check during Oparanya's reign as the governor. He was the best perform- performing governor. And as at now, he holds no public office anywhere. So I don't see the reason to victimize him. I'm done. Bro, umepata hiyo message. Okay, message me message nimeipata nimeisikia and uh, I can't digest it do ameniambia at biology says that no man gets old but why do we have do we have a point in biology where the, the, the cells the cells of a man can no longer fertilize the eggs of the of the, of the woman at the important it's called the important stage so if you get at that point you are old na sasa tukiendelea mbele bro lakini oparanya si akona pesa za kulisha mwanamke haja complaining mwanamke akata umejua pia kabla wende wewe if you are pillars mko uko na kitu hapo kwa mfuko na tukiona oparanya oparanya si anaweza manage kumlisha kwa hivyo swali ni oparanya amemwoa kumlisha ama amemwoa kama mke wake wa pili na mke ukiwa mke si lazima unaweza cater for bana niliwaambia before the sole purpose we have said that the, the africanism of, of, of marrying many wives mm. that's africanism that's long time ago bana we in a, we in a, we in a, we in a digital in a digital world modern of which you should be doing things in a in appropriate way so the sole purpose of marriage this time is to get children and companionship of parents who have children See, he has, okay where, where did he get this children from the wife so he already has a, he has a companionship so why is he marrying the sole purpose of marriage or is he marrying because he has money and he can feed the, he can feed that woman oh uh, thank you very much i think some words are losing their meanings in the dictionary Number one, if somebody can comes out very clear to say that the sole reason and the sole purpose of marriage is for companion and to get children, maybe is right but is rightfully wrong. Number one, Oparanya is not marrying this woman because he needs companionship. Number one, he has gotten companion companionship, but he still has the right to get another wife and behold he still have rights to get more children if needs be and there is not even a single day not even a single time my brother he has come 
close with Oparanya. Akamwambia, I weakly ambassador Oparanya. I should not marry another woman because I already have a companion. Because I already have children. Even our grandfathers. And let me tell you something. You've misused the word modern. There are things which can be which cannot be modernized. Number one is birth, marriage and death. So if you want to modernize marriage, you are missing it. You want you can't be a copycat, you copy you copy everything from from different people and from the Western people. So I dispute that Oparanya has all the rights and if he's capable to feed, to give, to to do everything that this woman because number one, let me tell you, my brother, no woman can live with a man just because he's rich. Because when she needs a conjugal right and this man can't satisfy her, she lazima tatoroka. And being that this lady has not complained that Oparanya is that old and can't satisfy me, Oparanya has all the right to do so. So, I, Malizia, bro, me, me kitu na kitu, kitu, kitu ndambia vijana Oparanya, mzee Oparanya. Wachana vidosho dosho kuna vijana barubaru ambao kama sisi sisi ndio tunakuwa tukua tuna tol na wasichana kama hao. Kwa hivyo watafute size yao wa mama huko. Wafanye mambo yao na wa mama huko. Wachana na wasichana wadogo wadogo waachie vijana barubaru. Kwa hivyo weka una support oparanya. Chukua demu yako peleke oparanya. Niandue kidogo. So tukimalizia. Uh, thank you very much. Allow me first rectify his statement. If you want oparanya to go for old women, you want to tell me that Oparama, Oparanya should leave and go take somebody's wife, which is very wrong. And being that Oparanya's senses and mind is very right, he can't go for old women. Number one, let me tell you, the Bible puts very clear that some days are coming that women, seven women, will go to a man saying that we will feed ourselves uh, you are not a christian that's why i can't i don't see the need you are an atheist so i don't see the need the, i don't see the i'm a christian but i'm a very i'm a, I'm a clergy man and i can teach you more about the bible okay uh, you being a clergy should you, sh you should have known that verse so i don't see the need of you asking me that so as i conclude you face moja Oparanya has no sin and Oparanya has all the rights. Being that ladies, the population of ladies are many more than us. And if you say that Oparanya should go for old women, should Oparanya go and take somebody's wife, yet young ladies are here? And constitutionally, this lady is an adult. Oparanya never raped. Oparanya never forced. Oparanya, allow me conclude my brother. While you were talking, I was silent. Oparanya never raped. Oparanya never forced this young lady. They all talked and reached an agreement. That's why, and this is a plan from UDA. And I thank you, Fesmoja, for bringing a colleague from the UDA alignment. And this is something which, a, a coalition, oh, thank you very much, I accept corrections. Uh, this thing comes from the UDA coalition and the bigwigs from the Western region, people like Weekly, oh, people, I'm sorry, people like uh, the current speaker, Mr. Wetangula, they know all this. They, being that the not even a single time they have united these the western region so it's politicized and the issue of my colleague saying the youth or oh, paranya should avoid the youth thing or oh, paranya should in, in fact he should even add another one Guys, now let me ask you a question you people if a paranya would be dying as a youth leader in your in your world or anywhere you would vote him as a youth because i can see you supporting him chewing young girls Okay, I'm sorry, you are misusing some terms. Oparanya's age is not youth, and this marriage and youth leader, those are two different things, bro. So being a youth leader has nothing to do with Oparanya. Being that he has married a, a youth has nothing to do with a youth leader, period. So marrying a youth means that you consider him as a youth? Not really. You know, marrying a youth and a youth is a youth affair. Marrying an old man and an old woman is the old people affair. So, okay, thank you very much, Face Moja. Ma how can you marry an old woman? The old woman must have been married somewhere. So this lady being that Oparanya needs a very official affair not to go take somebody's wife, he decided to take a young lady. And the ratio of women as he started saying, I'm sorry I, I cut him short, but it's true the ratio of women to men. Women are many than men. So if the ratio says, says that the women are many than men, that means five is to two. 
the ratio of women is inclusive of young girls and old women. Exactly. Why doesn't he just go for the old? For his time, the old. Time. The old, yet the old are marriage. In you, this man is confirming to us clearly that the area where he's coming from, old women are not married. That's exactly what he's saying. So uh, as I conclude, I'd ad I advise my brother that uh, however much somebody is old, and I'm sorry to tell him, Oparanya is not even yet 70. He's still young, and he can choose a lady of a any... old monkey with old tricks, uh, According to you. Paranya. According Paranya small, he's, a, he's a, an old man with old tricks. Uh, There's nothing. A, okay, let's go. Let's be vulgar kidogo. 20 bedroom matters. Do you think Oparanya can, can, can manage it? Uh, that the, uh, ruthless, the ruthless chewing of that particular chick. Okay, I'm sorry to say my brother may be uh, the mind is overworking and sometimes the, his minds and our, our senses are not that clear. And uh, that's, a, that, that's a serious allegation of which you should withdraw and apologize. I'm not going to withdraw because I've, I've not yet concluded. Allow me just to conclude. I'm not going to withdraw it unless I conclude my statement. The reason as to why I've said so, uh, there's no serious allegation there. If we go to bedroom, the conjugal rights, you, you, you have no right to complain for this lady. You died in bedroom, Bana. Don't kill Nani, Nani, this, this old boy. Uh, Oparanya. Don't kill Oparanya in bedroom with the Viagra. Watch any Kudanganya Mzebana. Mambia and the Mama Saiziake. Bro, of all the tribes in Kenya, there are only two tribes allowed to be polygamous and they do it officially. Which one and which one? It's a Luo and a Luya. And of all, Oparanya most likely is a Luya and a Luo because the word O, letter O is in his name. And all the Luyas and the Luo, if they can't be polygamous, then which people? And I, I'm advising. I don't want him to go take the girl the girl is very energetic and and so some some power and they, and, and at this moment Oparanya's powers are at, at least depreciated. So, allow the, only me, thing, the only thing Oparanya can do Fesmoja allow me ask my brother where did he meet Oparanya and Oparanya confirmed to him that his bedroom energy is low? Can allow me to tell me that so that I can confirm? But, uh, that thing, this, this thing goes with age. You know, there's, there's, something, there's something called uh, the BMR, the basal metabolic rate. So as you keep growing older, your energy depreciates. That's why I'm saying that Oparanya cannot manage it in bedroom. It a bit the end maybe some boosters of which might uh, bring about some blood pressure. That's a, that's a tragedy. So don't mislead the old man, Bana. Give the old man the right dose, the right pieces of advice, nuggets. Thank God, Mr. Sp Mr. Fismoja, he has confirmed that according to him, but according to Oparanya himself, how I wish Oparanya would be complaining, would have helped him. But here, both Oparanya and the lady have not complained. Why should he complain? Or does he mean he's indirectly I'm interested just, in the woman? Just an advisory. I was just advising. You know, you people are very Why close to the old man. Why should you advise somebody who is doing something you, you which should, is you know, right early warning, to him? You see, if, if, if these people were now going through the flood, the, the, the flood called war tragedy, if they would have been given the early warning and they, they are there to the warning, we would not be seeing such things. So you people, we are just as a mitigation measure, you see, just advise the old man that you know, it's uncool. First moja, there are some, uh, I don't consider all advices to be right. And somebody can wrongfully advise you. So this man here, my colleague, I'm sorry to call him this man, my honorable member here, is, uh, and uh, if I use the word prostitute, I'll be very vulgar and I'll be very wrong and I don't want to use that. And being that I'm so... I will support Oparanya to all extent. I say boldly here, Oparanya did the right thing. The old woman is advising Oparanya to go for as some other people's wives. Friend, without fear of contradiction, without fear of, con of contradiction, supporting what Oparanya is doing, is supporting prostitution, and prostitution is not even allowed in the Bible. Are we together up to that point? Uh, uh, we are not together. Simply because... Oparanya came out clearly. Prostitution is done behind the curtains. So if you do, if you want to use the word prostitution, maybe most likely from your area, you come out publicly to tell people that now this woman I'm working with is not my legal wife, and now we are doing our private things. No, no, no. You don't misuse the word prostitution. Not unless you don't know the definition of which I'll advise you to consult your English teacher or your dictionary. Period. I'm done. Okay, I, don't, I don't have much to say.
but please just advise the old man give the give him the right dose i've advised him to hold the lady with his two hands and not even a single time try to go for old women who are other people's wives period so what do i say <laughs> <laughs>